Martin. Well, speaking of the town being ready, it's it been such a fun time. Anywhere you go, I don't care if you're just out running errands at a restaurant, you see people with their blue. Where'd you blue get that shirt? Everywhere. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's just so great in terms of bringing everybody together. So you almost don't even want it to end, but you want it to win the World Series. So <laughs> kind of just a battle between the two. But at least we're going to see some great weather for the games here for Game One and Game Two. So if you are going to be heading out to the K Tuesday or Wednesday, maybe both days. Forecast looks absolutely wonderful for both those games. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Great weather to start our week, by the way. So just getting you started here on your Monday, it's a little cool right now. But heading into the afternoon, we're going to see our temperatures warming up uh, into those upper 60s and even some lower 70s for today. A lot of sunshine and light wind will be right around 56 degrees at 9 o'clock, 66 at lunchtime, and then 72 as we approach 5 p.m. We're tracking our next rain chance. The system trying to make its way onshore into the Pacific Northwest right now. So we have a couple of dry days ahead of us, and then we're going to see above average temperatures throughout the entire week. So it's going to be a warm week here as we're coming to a close or coming into the second half of October. We're dry right now. A view from the Sheridan Hotel in the Crown Center. You can see not much going on with our weather. A little bit of fog in some spots, especially near St. Joseph where we have our coolest temperature in the area at 41. 43 degrees in Lawrence, 51 in Kansas City. We're 55 in Sedalia and 52 for Chillicothe and Trenton. Area-wide temperatures, well, looking off to our west, we've got some warmer readings for Wichita and Chinute. A little cooler the farther north and west that you head, but uh, it's this warmer air that I'm watching, and that'll help our warmer start this morning. You can see the 24-hour temperature difference, about 8 to 15 degrees warmer, and that will help our temperatures be in the 70s for today since we're not starting out as cool as we were this time yesterday morning. Let me show you the hourly temperatures. So as we go from 7 o'clock this morning, starting out near 50 degrees, warming up to the upper 60s to lower 70s around the metro, and then warmer the farther west that you head. Overnight, we're going to be a little bit cooler than the temperatures that we're seeing this morning as high pressure starts to move in. So more like the middle to upper 40s. But then check out your Tuesday afternoon. It's going to be another nice one. Highs back in the upper 60s, plenty of sunshine, and then warmer temperatures building off to our west. And we're going to see more of that warmer air moving in as we get a little bit later on in the week. Clouds and radar, pretty quiet. We've got a mostly clear sky. The nearest area of clouds, that is off across southern Missouri, southern Kansas. Those clouds will continue moving out, so no concerns there. Our next weather maker, as I mentioned just a few moments ago, is a system moving onshore into the Pacific Northwest. Now bring us our next chances of seeing some showers. That's going to be on Thursday. So between now and then, our weather is going to stay dry. Let's talk about your seven day forecast. If you like warm temperatures, you're going to like how this week plays out. 72 today. 69 tomorrow after a morning start of 47. We're at 70 on Wednesday. A few more clouds building in late in the day. Showers are going to move in on Thursday with that next weather system. We'll dry things out heading into the weekend with a lot of sunshine. Highs back in the lower to middle 70s with lows in the lower to middle 50s. Chris?